long time no see. I know, I haven't really been here at all this summer, but I have a really fun tutorial that I want to show you guys today, so keep on watching. I've already started out by taking my NARS gel moisturizer and my NARS tinted moisturizer and mixing those two together, and I've let that soak in for like about 10 minutes or so. Next, I'm taking my MAC Peach Luster Highlighter. This is basically like a peach color corrector that I place right here under my eyes. And I let that dry for a good moment. Next, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, placing that on any scars or blemishes. So I've already blended out that Pro Longwear Concealer along with the Peach Luster. Next, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just gonna be dotting that right underneath my eyes over where I put Peach Luster, and also down the center of my face. And then I'm gonna blend that all out with my Beauty Blender. Next, to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna be taking my NARS Translucent Press Powder, and I'm just patting that right on top of those two concealers that I layered underneath my eyes. I'm also taking that same powder and going just around my nose and like on my nose and on my chin. And then for everywhere else, I'm gonna be taking my Smashbox Halo Powder. It's like a powder that you like twist and grind. I'm gonna be using my MAC Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. I love this powder because it gives the skin such a beautiful like airbrushed effect. There we go. Let's move on to eyebrows. This is literally what I do every single day. I'm just taking MAC Brune eyeshadow along the bottom and the tail of my brow, and then Coquette eyeshadow in the um, more like front part of my brow. I start off by just kind of combing out the brows. And then I'm just taking my MAC Clear, not so clear anymore, <laughs> brow set to hold those hairs in place. As we all know, these brows can get out of control. So we're going to zoom in for the eyes. We're going to be starting off with the MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. This is just a really, really pretty brown taupe satin color. I'm taking that on my 217 brush. And that is going to be going all over my lid. I'm also taking that same paint pot and going underneath. Next up, I'm going to be taking MAC Low Lights Fluid Line. This is a coffee colored gel eyeliner. I'm gonna take that on a little brush and paint that along my lash line. And I'm really not being neat with it, just getting the product along the lash line. And I'm making it just a little bit thicker on the outer edge. And then quickly, before this dries, I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just gonna really buff that gel eyeliner into my eye. I'm really going to smudge it out. Now I'm taking just a little bit more of that fluid line and I'm going to extend the outer edge 
just a little bit. Okay, so now that we have that gel liner smudged out and it's all nice and smoky, I'm going to be taking MAC Definedly Black Pro Longwear Eyeliner and I'm going to run that along my bottom and top waterline. And then I'm just using my finger to smudge. We're going to add a thin coat of uh, mascara. I get any like mascara smudges around my eye, I like to wait for that to dry first and then wipe it off with the Q-tip so that way it doesn't smudge everywhere and get ridiculous. Same thing on this side. Lastly, for the eyes, I'm going to be applying these really fun eyelashes that I got from Daiso. These are great because they are they're more full on the outer edge here, and they're a little bit more sparse on the inner, and they have a really nice taper, and also an invisible band. So these are just really great, like, daytime eyelashes. All right, so now that we have our eyes on, the lashes are almost dry. I'm going to wait for those to dry for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go over the band to mattify the glue um, with some more of that low lights fluid line. But in the meantime, so what I've been using lately is this little mini Bobbi Brown foundation stick and this is in the color Warm Almond. So this is just like a shade or two darker than my natural tone. I just paint right underneath the cheekbone a stripe, kind of like a wedge stripe. <laughs> you guys have all seen this before. I do the same thing <laughs> around my forehead and then just a little bit along my chin. Take the beauty blender and blend that out. So this is not going to add a major like contour moment, but it's going to add more of a bronzy look to the outer edges of my face, which is what I personally prefer. I find the cream uh, it really mimics the texture of skin more than a powder. For my blush, I'm going to be taking MAC Copper Tone. This is a really beautiful deep apricot color. Next up, I'm going to be taking this little mini of the Benefit Watts Up highlighter and I'm just drawing a little stripey of that right along the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, tip of the chin, that's it. I'm using the other end of my beauty blender, the one that I didn't use for the contour. I've done that before, where like you use the same part of your beauty blender for your highlight that you did for your contour, and your highlight ends up looking real bad. Now I'm taking just a little bit of low lights fluid line on my flat brush again, and we're just running that along the lash band to cover that glue up. For lips, we have options. So we have a neutral option and a bold option. The neutral option today is going to be MAC Cream In Your Coffee Lipstick. So there's Cream In Your Coffee. It's just like a pinky, kind of brownie, neutral tone. It's just my go-to. Like, I wear this lipstick almost every day of my life just because it looks like my natural lip tone, just a little bit more like even and kind of creamy looking. Here's the neutral option. Take it off. For our bold option, we're going to be taking MAC Heroin Lip Pencil, painting our entire lip with that, and then going over it with Rebel Lipstick. 
just a beautiful purple berry combo. I feel amazing whenever I wear this lip color, so I wanted to share it with you guys. What can I say, you guys? I just love a good purple lip. It just give me such life. There we go, you guys. Here is the completed look. Let's just zoom in so we can get a closer view. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I wish that I had time to film more, but you know, Things are just really busy for me in my life, but it's all so positive and it's all, you know, we're moving up in the world. We're moving up. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be sure to list all the products that I used in the description box down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your summer and a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!